this is what it's about. You know, it's about the performance and just making, just making music. That's what it's about. It was suggested that there was lurking somewhere this unfinished piano concertino by Arnold Bax, written in 1939. There's a little bit of mystery. Nobody really quite knows why this wasn't finished. It's all those questions that have given the project a kind of validity, but it's only when you actually sit down and work at it for the first time that you know, is it really going to work? <laughs> Can we go to the piano? It was only the last movement that was written as a complete piece of music. The rest of it, Graham has had to reconstruct. Graham is a fantastic uh, champion of Bach's music. He's clearly steeped in Bach's idiom. He's done a masterful job. Bach is a major British composer of the 20th century. A complex character. On one hand, he could be quite anti-establishment, at the same time desperate to be and very much part of the establishment. It's a combination of, of factors here that are extra musical, not least the fact that Harriet Cohn and Arnold Bax had this synergy. We know that the concerto was intended for performance by Harriet Cohn, lifelong lover for 30 years or so. She was a very, very ambitious lady who was well known for pursuing the right society contacts. Harriet Cohen is an extraordinary figure, a stunningly attractive woman, and she, she was a fantastic pianist. I have been trying to perpetrate a small concerto for Tanya, that's Harriet Cohen, but it is heavy labour. What we do know is that it wasn't completed. Why? Why didn't Bax finish it? He wrote in his letters about the regime in Nazi Germany that there was too much Hitler around this spring. That world was going to be swept away. Musically, times were changing. First time it's ever been done. I feel, yes, quite a responsibility. We have no knowledge of how it's going to work when it comes to working with the orchestra. Usually, from your own part, you can tell something about what the music is going to sound like. But with this, I think it's a real mystery, actually. You know, there's a certain sparsity about the way the notes appear on the page, which makes it very difficult to tell. So it's this sort of mystery which is going to be revealed any minute now. What happens will happen. <laughs> We're playing too loud in the fortes. We just have to do it to not play too loud because we're just playing too loud all the time. Sorry. Yeah, no, and it'll be much less tiring for us if, we, if we're not so loud. It's much less time to, to stop saying it, is it? I mean, because yeah. we're saying it all the time. It's... We know the concerto was intended for performance by Harriet Cohen. We know it never was performed. We know of her accident. Unconsciously, she was willing herself to do something like that. You wonder, who was he deceiving the most? Was it his wife? Was it Harriet Cohen? Was it his other lovers? Or was it in the end himself? He was living a double life, treble life, so many different lives. Great. Can we just have one more, please? So now we're coming up to the world premiere. A lot of excitement. Is the ensemble there? Are we entirely like minds in terms of tempo? And does it simply still work as a piece of music? Is it even talking about it? I'm starting to feel. Are we actually going to deliver the goods? Is the backs this great work? Performing brings its own anxiety and we always start to question enormously the decisions that we've taken. There are a lot of people that I want to be pleased that we've done this and that we've launched this new work into the world. It doesn't happen that often. Great, let's do something else.